AMD released the RSR AK Radeon Super Resolution on 17th March and it supposedly increases the performance in games without any in-game settings tweak. On the other hand, we have the FSR or the Fidelity FX Super Resolution which is also a method to increase the performance without losing much of the visual quality. That said, AMD is also going to launch the FSR 2.0 which will enhance the gaming performance and visual quality even further. Now both the RSR and FSR are actually using the same upscaling method. Then what's the difference between the two? Don't worry, I will explain both of them in this video and answer the questions you may have in your mind. Before introducing the FSR, AMD first developed an open source image quality toolkit in 2019. It is called the AMD Fidelity FX. This new toolkit provided 8 various techniques to improve the visual quality in games such as the contrast adaptive sharpening, ambient occlusion, screen space reflections and many more. It was specially designed for the AMD RDNA and RDNA2 architectures that comprise of RX 5000 and RX 6000 series GPUs. In June 2021, AMD introduced the ninth effect which is called the Fidelity FX Super Resolution in response to NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling. However, unlike DLSS, AMD's FSR doesn't work on artificial intelligence. Instead, the FSR 1.0 uses a spatial upscaling method that first uses a lower resolution image and then detects the edges and with the help of reconstruction and sharpening, it improves the image quality for a higher resolution. Let's say you have a 1440p monitor and you use 1080p resolution in a FSR supported game. FSR will analyze the whole image and improve it for your native monitor resolution that is 1440p. This retains the performance of 1080p resolution but increases the graphics quality compared to 1080p and takes the image quality close to the native 1440p. In comparison to FSR 1.0, the 2.0 version doesn't need any machine learning and uses temporal upscaling method instead that does not analyze a particular frame but uses a sequence of frames to improve the visual quality. It first analyzes three different factors that are color, depth and motion vectors. And with all of this information, it recreates high quality upscale frames that includes anti-aliasing as well. This particular feature is missing in spatial technique and therefore the image quality achieved with the help of FSR 2.0 is far superior to FSR 1.0. Now if we compare FSR with RSR, there is a little difference between the two. First of all, RSR also uses the same algorithm which works for the FSR. However, the difference between the two is that RSR is an in-driver feature that needs to be turned on through AMD Adrenaline software, whereas FSR can only be implemented by game developers into the games, as FSR is an open source utility. And currently, we have 61 games that use FSR with 20 more games to be added to the list very soon. Now, both have their own limitations. However, the RSR is more limited than the FSR because it only works with RDNA and RDNA2 based GPUs, but FSR can work on older GPUs including NVIDIA graphics cards that includes the GTX 10 series. On the other hand, FSR will not work in games where game developers did not provide any FSR support but RSR can still work in every game through the driver if you have an RX 5000 or 6000 series GPU. This is the only major difference between FSR and RSR. Now AMD is going to launch FSR 2.0 in Q2 this year which will be beneficial to most gamers. But there is a long list of games that needs to be added to support this feature as RSR is limited to a few graphics cards. I hope this cleared your doubts about FSR and RSR and if you like the video then you will also like this video right here which is about the Ryzen 6000 series APUs. Also please subscribe if you are new here. Till then goodbye and I will see you in the next one.